what's going on guys welcome back to another video this is going to be episode 5 of building feed we've already been building this mock for over a month which just seems so crazy and actually this week i was on vacation so i had to work extra hard to get this video out on time for you guys but we have some interesting stuff this week like the aat as well as something that we haven't been able to do yet in this series which is take a look at what Daniel, my collaboration partner, has been up to. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so this is the AAT that I'm going to be using in Theed. This is a design by the builder, Lewis Kiwi. This is the first design available on Brick Vault's website for the AAT, obviously in the Trade Federation tan colors. Now, I originally bought this model for another Theed mock that I didn't end up finishing, if you guys have watched my channel for three years or so, you might remember that. And I've done a little bit of modification to this, not a whole ton. Basically, the main thing that I changed up was I added in a couple more sections to this rounded part here at the front, just making it a little bit more round. And I think that it really helped actually from the original design. So this now has a one by two section here and then another one at the bottom there. And then that just makes it a little bit more round and helps out the way that this looks. And I just really, really like this as well as changing this to dark tan here in the back instead of brown, like it was on the original model. And just a couple other things that I don't really remember at the moment. The main reasons that I like this model are the usage of the 1999 printed dish piece from the original AAT. I love the way he was able to use that and incorporate that into this. And on the bottom of this, he actually was able to use, kind of similar to the cross sections book of the Star Wars vehicles, the artillery shells, like the cutaway view, so you can see the different kinds of shells in the chamber, the inside view of the tank that obviously would come out of these missile tubes here on the sides. And I'm really, really happy with that. I love the way that looks. It's just the coolest design ever. And there are some newer ones, but I still kind of like this one, the way that it looks and scales with battle droids. Here I have a pilot droid for the, as I think Lego calls them, the Kashyyyk droid, but these are just the sergeant or tank commanders, whatever you want to call them. As you can see, he's about as tall as this main section here. And I think he scales pretty well. And it's just overall a really nice model from every angle. It just looks so clean and nice. It's got some nice engines, some nice detail on those engines there, some greebling. I like the way that the turrets look. And this has a little bit of an interior and it's not huge and it's not very easy to get to. The top hatch does open, but there isn't much going on there. You can put like the top head and the torso in of a battle droid but the in-universe design is actually a hatch that opens out and there's two pieces to it so using this is very inaccurate and also there isn't really a whole ton of room so it doesn't add a whole lot i have displayed this like that before but once i kind of learned how the hatch actually is in universe it kind of threw that off for me all right so here you can see the back of the tank this is obviously the top section with the turret and underneath here if i pull down the back hatch you can kind of see inside i tried to put the light to where you can see it you got the wheel up here kind of like the hydraulic winch that would control the back hatchway here and then there's some steps up there and the battle droid you can kind of see the battle droid in there he's got a little control panel but it's behind him so you can't really see it Obviously, it's not a huge interior. It's just a little bit of something to at least hold a battle droid in there like the real tank would. And then you have kind of a little bit of play features with that. And then you can kind of just look at some of the details on this, some of the nice angles. And it's just a really nice tank. It looks so clean, so sleek. There's very few studs and just all the proportions look super nice and I like the way that it scales with figs and obviously I already had this from my original feed that I didn't finish so it was nice to be able to repurpose this thing finally give it its opening debut and I'm just super excited to be able to use this in feed. The next thing is the slopes that I got from that Bricklink order last video 
this is what I did with them. This is like one of the sloped corner roofs on Theed. And I have a couple more of these coming in, but I really like the way this looks. I would like to use the two by three slopes in sand green, but they are pretty rare. And I haven't found any stores that I'm ordering from with them in stock. So I'm just sticking with the one by threes right now. And just generally, it looks pretty good. I would like to be able to tile off the top here, but I think it might throw off the way that this looks because if you look at it from here, it kind of slopes in to the top. And then if I put a tile on top of here, it might just throw off that whole look. So I'll mess around with that, but I do like this and I would like to have maybe a double decker one, like make these kind of bigger and then just stack them. And so you have a little bit of a higher roof. I think that would look a little bit better than this. And even maybe some of the smaller ones, the two by two corner slopes, I think that would be cool as well, but I haven't found those either. So this is the first one. And the second is just the tiniest little thing this is using the three by three dome dish thing and those curved tiles and you just put them on each other and i think this looks pretty good i mean it has kind of a domed shape it's round and there isn't really much else that you can do at this small scale so i'll probably chuck this on one of the smaller buildings maybe as an accent to this like if there's two spires maybe there's a smaller section of the roof and then there's like a round kind of cylinder that sticks up and then this could sit on top and that would just add in a little bit more of a visual interest to the buildings. Those parts from the Bricklink orders did allow me to finish up a few things, including all of the gold around the ring on this sphere. And as I said, I just really, really love this design and it's super nice to be able to see it in its final design with all of the gold clips. So I'm definitely super excited about this design and I can't wait to put this onto an actual building. So this is a segment that I'm super excited to be able to bring you guys. In the past, the collaboration mocks that me and Daniel have done together, I've done a series on my part and his part has kind of been just hidden until the final release of what we made. And in this series, I really wanted to have his stuff as a part of the building series because we're building it at the same time. So I had him send me over some pictures of what he's doing. He is building the bridge, as you can see, that is going to be in the middle of the mock. This is what he's got going on so far. And as you can see, it's a round bridge similar to the ones that we see in Theed and also in Spain and the places that they filmed episode one in for the Naboo scenes. And basically the way he's doing this is there are the cheese grater slopes and they're connected with the roller skates, kind of like how I had done a lot of the stuff on my flash beater. If you guys haven't seen that, you can check out my last video, but he's got roller skates with the cheese grater slopes attached and then some two by three tiles and plates. And it just makes a bunch of sections that he connects together using the hinges and then bricks with the studs on the side, the snot bricks. And when they're put all together, it creates a really nice and seamless bridge with that nice round shape that we want for the bridge in Theed. And as you can see, he's starting to do the main wall section with the angle that I had done in episode two of the series. It's going to be the same exact thing, just mirrored on his side. So it is going to be symmetrical from both sides of the river. And this is going to be something that we're going to have to work on and try and figure out, make sure that his matches up perfectly with mine. But I'm super happy with his progress so far. It just looks so clean and he excels at this kind of stuff of just weird angles and making everything line up super perfectly. So the one thing that we still have to figure out is how we're doing the railing. What he's got going on so far, neither of us are super happy with. As you can see, it's just plates and the jumper plates and tiles stuck on top with the cylinders. And it's not terrible, but it's just not exactly what we want. So that is going to be one thing that we're still working on. But I'm really happy with his progress so far on the bridge. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up episode five of Building Feed. As I said, we couldn't really do anything this week because I was on vacation. But I hope you guys at least got some enjoyment out of that, and I hope you guys were excited to look at the AAT that's going to be used in this mock, and hopefully next week I can just start 
getting back into progress on the real layout. I got some of those base plates freed up. I haven't been able to build anything really in the past few weeks, so I'm really excited to get back into building and to hopefully get some progress done on the mock. And if you guys are interested in any of the lights that I'm using in this mock, they are Light My Bricks, and I have a discount code that'll give you $10 off your first purchase. So if you guys are interested in that, then click the link at the top right side of the screen. But that is just about going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.